All right, guys, we are taking the Zeus e-bike out today. Hopefully all my lights are charged because we went to a 72 volt system on this bike last time we rode it and I actually turned it up. I turned it up to the max. So we were at, I think 59 amps from the battery because I think it has a fuse in there that can only go up to 60 amps. So that's what we're limited to, but I have it pretty much maxed out. And I did 59 because I didn't want it to pop a fuse and leave us stranded. Hopefully the motor can handle this power. I think it's gonna give us roughly about 4,000 watts of power out of the Zeus. And I know you guys have been talking about the Async e-bike because you guys have been seeing it in my videos and stuff like that. And we'll get to it one of these days. Honestly, it's still gonna probably be a while. I'm probably thinking probably towards the end of April to be straight up completely honest with you guys is because my birthday is April 1st. Um, as I'm recording this, it's tomorrow. But um, by the time this video goes out, it's going to be after my, uh, my birthday. So taking a few days off and then I am at work for 48 hours, like to the next two weeks, just because work has nobody and everyone's taking vacations. But anyways, this is a lovely bike. They keep sending me parts. The reason we haven't done it yet, the throttle's broken. I believe it's this button. It's kind of similar to the Onyx. And then the headlight right here is broken. And they sent me a whole rear rack right here that I have not installed. And they also gave me a spring because the stock spring that they're shipping out with is too soft. So this is a prototype. So there are some issues with it here and there, but we'll do that for another day. We obviously got the ride one up right next to it, C3 Strom. And then we're gonna be doing a video review on this when I have my next day off, which will come sooner than all this other stuff. But anyway, let's get on the way, ride this bike and uh, hopefully we don't die. I will say we finally did get the seat bolted in. Um, I did not put the two bolts right here, so that's why the middle kind of moves around a little bit, but it's not gonna slide off or anything like that. But let's get this turned on, which we gotta hit that. It's a little hard because the battery's only tied to the top, so it kind of shimmies a little bit. Not too bad, but we are at a full charge. It says 85.3 volts. I don't know why it always reads like that. Anything I do in the settings does not change it, but. Roughly everyone knows 72 volt system goes up to 84 volts. So that's kind of where we're at right now. And zero miles on here and zero top speed. I already reset everything. So just keep that in mind and let's get out there and go. Very curious on the power. I want to be gradual with it. I kind of just want to chill, get the motor to warm up just ever so slightly and uh, not burn it out as soon as we get on it. So let's just kind of uh, gradually ride right now. Have a good time and then we'll kind of ease into it because I haven't been on this bike in a while. Fat tire bikes and small tire bikes are completely different. So uh, definitely got to make sure I'm being careful because any little pothole on this bike is sketch. When I did a video review on this, we were going downhill. I think we were doing like 44 something miles an hour and we ran over a vape pin, a vape pin. And I almost went like ate shit. I watched the video, I was like, holy crap. I didn't know that the tire swerve so much but the fact is look how fast we can get up to speed at about half throttle and we're just coasted like 35 miles an hour 36 37 i know i was gonna say i was gonna take it easy but uh i just want a full throttle full throttle uh i saw 3800 watts now i'm leaving the cars in the dust that are behind me if you guys can see them they're way back there 43 just chilling now, I don't suggest swerving or doing anything stupid when you ride this bike going that fast. Definitely don't. You gotta be careful. I also still haven't fixed the noise coming from my helmet. It's so annoying. We gotta fix that one of these days. Is that a cop? Is that a cop? Start pedaling. Start pedaling. Wait, that's not a cop. Making sure. We're going as fast as traffic. Come on, man. You guys are getting passed by a bike. Come on, I'm pedaling. I'm pedaling backwards. Eee. Come on, bus. Damn lady. Even bus drivers aren't paying attention. Ow. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. I'm hitting all these big old potholes. I'm trying to like keep my hand on the throttle, but at the same time, I don't want to like whiskey throttle it and just take off after hitting the bump, you know? So I'm just trying to uh, play with the throttle and not, uh, not kill myself. All right, let's just stay with traffic because we can stay in the street. This bike is fast enough now. 
you guys want any type of comparison, this is definitely uh, faster picking up the speed as like a Rev 1 or a C3 Strom. It's definitely a lot faster. And since that truck got all the way over, I'll go this way. Now, uh, you guys got to drop a comment and let me know after we did all these videos on the bike and I showed you exactly what to buy, which I'll put links down in the description again. I'll just copy it from one of my other videos and uh, drop it down there so you guys know. Don't check the comments. Check the actual description for links because sometimes I don't put them in the comments and everyone's like, where's it at? I need, a, I need this part. Um, but I'm just curious to know how many of you guys have done this or thought about doing this or you did it before I even did it. I'm just curious. Because I know I'm trying to help people out there, and this is a cool-ass mod to the bike. Hold on, let me uh, put my visor down. Because it is cold today. It was supposed to uh, rain, and then it said it wasn't going to rain, but it looks like it's going to rain. So hopefully when we get off, we're not stuck in the rain, because California weather is just stupid right now. Oh, man. It feels so fun cruising at like 40 miles an hour on a Zeus. So fun. I know a lot of you guys said that's like that's like the perfect speed and you're right you guys are 100 percent right that uh 40 miles an hour on this bike is I, I would say that's solid going over 40 you're really just pushing the stock motor like we don't have an aftermarket motor on here and it's a 750 watt motor a lot of people say it's like a qs203 or whatever and it can handle a shit ton of wattage and maybe that's true but Anything that you push over its limits is probably not going to be too good. So you might, you know, get rid of a lot of your uh, lifespan of the motor, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So you might not have this motor very long. Who knows? I don't know. I don't ride these bikes every single day. So, you know, your mileage might vary on how long it's going to last you. Just be on the safe side, you know, don't turn it up as much as I do. I'm just doing this for testing purposes and just to have fun. There's a car that's right next to me. I think he's checking out the bike because uh, he was going pretty slow. Woo! I got to pay attention to the road, though, too. Now, uh, we've been on the throttle for a pretty long time. I, I got like 70 to 80% throttle on here. And we're holding uh, like 40 miles an hour, which we said is perfect for this bike. And um, not doing too bad. Pulling uh, like 3,300, 3,400 watts. Having a good ass time. Oh, my God. I would definitely suggest... <laughs> some different tires than I put on this bike because the tires I have on here, the white walls, but they're more rougher than the stock ones. Highly, highly suggest getting some uh, tires that are a little bit softer or air your stock ones down. Oh, a Tesla. I want a Tesla so bad. All right, so we got this whole road to ourselves, brand new. This is where you can take some turns and have some fun. Other than someone going off the road. All right. <laughs> All right, now my tires are covered in like dirt and mud, so. Damn it, that didn't last long. All right, so you guys know that the Rev 1 and the C3 Strong, they were roughly, I think the Rev 1 was like 24 miles an hour. C3, C3 Strong was like 28. This one coming uphill, 34, 35. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, <laughs> telling you, that gives you an idea how fast this bike is. Now, I'm pretty sure we could even hit a uh, high top speed coming down here. I don't know how fast I want to go today. It's just. I'm not feeling it today, you know what I mean? I just wanted to bring this bike and have a good time. It's not like I'm afraid of it or anything like that. It's just I'm not really geared up just in case some shit happens, you know? Oh, yeah, turn for me. Look, I'm going to go through this pedaling. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I took a moment of silence to do that because that was just too damn fun. Just having a blast. Let's go, let's go! Woo-wee! Another thing you guys asked, and honestly, it's really hard to say right now because it's so cold. You guys were asking how hot does a motor get, you know, after you have it at like 3,000 or 4,000 watts. And I guess really quick, I can check it out for you. Let me uh, pop my visor off really quick. It's gonna be hard because it's not a hot day at all. I don't feel any uh, issues with it either. Oh yeah, that's that's nothing. If you guys own an Onyx RCR, you'll know what hot is. This is not hot at all. That's like lukewarm right now. Now, uh, if you guys were doing a straight, no stopping, like full out throttle all the time, yeah, I don't know about that until the battery dies. Like you guys might have some issues, but 
just keep it easy like i said i'll say that many times just be safe when you do something like this you know don't always think like full throttle for miles and miles and miles just really think about what you did to the bike and try to baby it. it's like putting a bigger turbo on a car and even if your motor is capable of going up to that you can't just be redlining it and going like full boost like every single second while you're you know driving your car like that is not good so just think about it like that all right so let me put my visor back down because it's just cold as hell today which is helping with the motor temps as well uh 30 or wait no i'm sorry 43 i don't know why i said 30. all right so let's see how the transition is from this bike path to the street not that good but damn we took off fast man i slowed down hit the street got right get back in the bike lane like super fast I like looking at people and like pedaling backwards just because it's funny 40 miles an hour coming up on overpass is stupid gotta love it gotta love it i'm waiting for someone to honk at me i should get a little sticker on the back of my backpack it says honk if you're horny <laughs> no no honk if you like e-bikes yeah there we go oh that'd be hilarious See how many people they like, honk at us. I wonder why my mile per hour is flashing on the uh, the display. Not 100% sure. This thing is too fun to ride around. Honestly, I just want to go everywhere. Loophole, baby. What red light? I ain't got to wait for no no light at all. Whee! Look at okay. You want to get an idea how good this is? Look at the traffic. <laughs> Bikes are fantastic. Gotta love it. It's so fast that you gotta be careful on, you know, people pulling out and stuff because they're gonna see a bike, not know that you're going like 30, 40 miles an hour. Or so <laughs> definitely gotta be uh, careful what you do. I don't even wanna go to work right now. This is how much I've loved this bike. Obviously no suspension, like really, really sucks, but super fun though. Whee! God, this feels so good. Now, this is probably very unsafe to be swerving like that. I've already said it in the beginning of the video, but so fun. Let's cruise around the back right here. The back's not open, so we'll have to go through the front, but do another top speed run right here. This is full throttle right here. 3,700 watts of power. Moving pretty damn fast, I will say that. Don't hit me. Thank you for stopping, sir. No one ever stops there. Like seriously, I should have known like not to get that close because you got to kind of know your area that you're riding around when, you, uh, when you're going fast on a bike. All right, let's see. No one's pulling out, no one's pulling out. I'm moving, I'm moving. Woo hoo! Damn, we are jamming. All right, we made it here. Now we just gotta pray that our lights and everything work. And I made it here with 77 volts, but since it was one volt higher than when we started, when it's supposed to, I would say 76 volts is what we got here with. So not too bad. You gotta keep in mind, this is a, what is it? A 19.2 amp hour, 72 volt battery. So it's not gonna be the best, craziest range, especially on 4,000 watts of power. Oh, I guess it's going to jump up to 78. So, okay, so we got here at 77 volts. Let's just say that because it's going to go up right now. And also, there is no regen on this setup. You can put regen, but I'm not a big fan of it. So if you guys love regen, you probably will get more range than I will. But I'm not going to complain with that type of range, especially going full out. Now, I don't think this is worth putting this much power into it. I feel like this bike is perfectly good at like 3,000 watts, maybe 2,800 and then you'll get definitely more range than that. But you do lose your pedal assist. So there's no pedal assist on here. You do you lose all your lights, but hopefully mine are good and charge for tonight. I totally forgot to charge the rear one. So I'm praying to God, nothing happens, but I'll see you guys in five seconds. We get on the night ride and head back and bullshit some more. All right, so if you guys wanna know the mileage coming to work really quick, 47.6 miles per hour and we did 6.9 miles. So exactly what I tell you guys, my work is almost about seven miles from my house. 
It says I clocked out on my requested day off. <laughs> like, all right. All right, guys, let me get my phone up here. It's nighttime, about 10 hours later, like always. If you guys follow this channel all the time, let me uh, get my phone set up real quick and start turning on all these lights. All right, so some of the lights that we do have, got this badass headlight. I'll put a link in the description. This is one of the best headlights that you're ever gonna see. And I like the fact that these cables like run right in the middle and we're not using this light right here, right in the middle, so it's perfect. Cause this blocks like the middle of it anyway. How's it going, man? And then I got the pedal lights on here. And then we do have some lights down here that I got to turn on. These flashlight cop lights, I don't think they're legal, but it is what it is. I don't think we're going to get too much of a hassle. Then I have this last one over here, which I'm hoping is not dead. Okay, there we go. So now we got the rear one on. So now we are lit up as much as possible, other than putting like RGBs all over the bike, which would be cool one of these days. But uh, one other thing I did not show you guys on this bike is that the tuning cable that I have for the phase runner that sits right here, now that I have the seat bolted, I just have it right here. And I was gonna use the Ingway bag right here, but it did not fit. The straps were ever so slightly shorter. But now that I look at it, I actually could put the straps in here because they wouldn't fit on the outside edges, but I have little cutouts right here. So I might try it again. So then this cable can go in a bag. Then I can have the bag for like extra stuff, maybe like stuff if I get a flat or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But um, the bike went up to 79 volts. We already know it runs one volt higher, so we're actually at 78 volts. The battery on this side, if you look at this little indicator, it said it was 70, was it 73? 73%. So, I mean, that sounds about right. We're running so much power on this bike. But anyway, let's get out there and go. Ow, God. That section sucks ass. A lot of people, it's funny. I got so many bikes. These are not comparable to a... Uh, like a Super 73 or something like that. It's not. I don't know why so many people were saying, uh, how does the Zeus compare to this bike? It's not in the same league at all. Like, I, like if power wise is what you're talking about, it's still slower than my, you know, my Super 73, 72 volt. Um, the power on this bike feels very similar to, I would probably say a, um, a Lyric Graffiti e-bike, like the Lyric Cycles uh, Graffiti bike. I'm gonna ride in the street really quick. I don't know why I jumped over here, but I'm looking back and there's no cars. And everyone has to stop up here anyway with the, the light being out again. I don't know what they're doing over here. It's like every night they wanna work on it, but hey, I'd rather them work on it at night instead of during the day, when it's like rush hour traffic. All right, we're gonna cut through here. We are not going to stop because we are a bike. Yo. Yo. Ugh. Yo. Look at how bright this light is, guys. Absolutely uh, insane. Insane. I wanna put this light on like every single bike I own, but it doesn't really fit every like scenario. But it is just awesome. I think it's highly illegal if I'm being honest, but Amazon sells it, you guys can buy it. And it's not that expensive, or maybe you guys might think it's expensive. I think it's like 40 bucks or close to 50 bucks. But you're getting like, <laughs> better than a car light but better than most people have on their cars like older cars anyway because this is badass i can see everything and i actually like using this light too because when i record it makes the gopro footage better because you can actually see it and uh, don't forget guys that i do have a discount code for this bike so if you want to buy it you guys can save i think it's like if i'm not mistaken i think 100 bucks on the bike uh, but i've told everybody so i'm straight up honest on this channel this bike is not good for your first e-bike it just isn't if you have a few e-bikes and you like BMX bikes, you're kind of used to like riding them back in the day, then you're going to absolutely fall in love with this thing. But just don't buy it if this is your first e-bike. It's not a real practical e-bike. I mean, for the price anyway. I'm not trying to say it's not a practical e-bike. I mean, it's an e-bike at the end of the day, but I just mean like for the price wise that you're going to pay for this bike, there's so many other better bikes you can get. And plus I spent another thousand dollars on this to make it go this fast. So before you guys jump in the comments or send me a message on Instagram, which I get tons of messages every day and I, I try not to be rude, but I mean, when it's a question that's already been answered on my video, it's really hard for me to, you know, sit there and reply to everybody when I just did a video about it. But um, this is not stock. This bike is not this fast. I put a uh, 72 volt controller on here. We put a phase runner. Uh, I'm sorry, we put a uh, 72 volt battery and then we put a phase runner controller on here and it allows you to do anything from, I think like 36 volts to 72. Well, actually, I think it goes up to 
a little bit higher than that. No, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe this isn't the controller. There's a controller I had. I think it went into like 90 something uh, volts or something. I think I got it on Amazon. It was something I actually was gonna use on this bike and then decided, you know what? I don't wanna do any custom wiring. This was just super easy to do. And I got the start to work. Somehow I got it to work. Like I don't have that jerkiness feeling anymore. I love it. It's fantastic. And I made many videos showing you guys how to tune this bike. So you just gotta go back to the channel and check it out. And the reason why I kind of just, well, someone left all their trash. I took this bike today is because um, it's been a while. I mean, I spent a lot of money on the bike. We tuned it and I just kind of want to see what the limits of this bike is. And that's kind of why we're riding around right now. And I'm just trying not to kill myself. <laughs> I swear to God, if a cat or a dog or just a rabbit, bunny, whatever, just runs out in front of me, I'm going down. Like going this fast on this bike with no suspension, you hit that the front wheel is gonna turn. Like, I would try to keep it straight as possible, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up sideways. And I pray to God that doesn't happen. I got a Beyond Riders uh, clothing on right now. It's their, their hoodie ultra protection, but I don't have the pads in. I only have the back pads and the front pads. I don't have the elbow pads, and uh, I'd be worried about going down, or the shoulder pads. But so check this out. Um, our voltage sag on here is 66 volts right now, and we're holding like 40 miles an hour, like solid. I thought I had pedal in front of them just to be funny. <laughs> they just cruising around in their bikes. You gotta get a powerful electric bike, boys. Oh God, oh, oh, oh. Something with suspension though. Unless you got balls of steel or a good back. I will say though, my back is kind of jacked up and I can still ride this bike. It just, if I know I'm gonna be riding it for a while or I'm gonna be doing like a long trip, go with my buddies for a while, I wanna be comfortable. I'm not taking this bike, sorry. I'm sorry, Zeus, but the stock seat is kind of uh, crap. There is a company called uh, Thrill Seekers, a uh, little plug for them. They didn't pay me to say that. But if you go to thrillseekers.com, if that's the website, I, if, if it's not, just check up Thrill Seekers on uh, Google really quick. Um, they make covers for like the Suron, they make covers for this bike, they make covers for other bikes, and it goes on top of the stock seat and it adds like a one or two inch like foam padding or gel foam padding, like a memory foam or something. There's a lot of customization you could do to it. It's pretty cool. I was almost gonna do it, but I didn't like the fact of how high it made you sit on the bike. If someone replaced the sock seat and made it a little bit softer and it didn't raise it up too much, then I'd probably do it. But on this setup, I just wanted the bike to look as clean as possible, like factory, and just kind of leave it. Let's see if this truck is going to uh, pull out in front of me. <laughs> oh man i bet you that truck is like what the heck because they were staring at me because everyone that stays in this motel it's right out the freeway so it's all you know people that aren't from here don't be mad that i went through that red light all right <laughs> it's more safer for me to get out of the way of traffic that's gonna pile up behind me at that stoplight and if it's even gonna work and go most of the time it doesn't pick me up because these bikes are so light, but then I'm pretty much like trying to stay ahead of traffic and hope they don't hit me when they pass me. Or I'm like going off the side of the road on a bike lane that's not really visible. Oh! Went a little bit off to the corner a little bit. But still, um, I said it earlier in the video, I'm just curious, drop a comment down below. Don't forget, if you, got, if you already forgot by uh, now, it's almost the end of the video. I'm just curious if a lot of you guys own this bike and plan on doing the same upgrade I did, or maybe my videos helped you, it's just too much you know, money to do. I'm just really curious, just for my own sake. And if you guys really do want more Zeus content, I'll really try to bring this bike out a little bit more than I have been, because it's been a while. It's been a few weeks since we got on the bike. And um, I will say we are limited on the power, so I gotta make a correction. I said we were on like 59 amps, we're actually on 58 amps. And I set it to 4,000 watts. I noticed the discrepancy when I was at work uh, watching the content to make sure the audio was good and stuff. I was like, oh wait, I said the wrong thing. But we're basically tapped out. I can't do anything more than like 60 amps on this uh, battery. And uh, yeah, so we're limited. And I think 60 amps will give us like, I'm pretty sure it's like 4,100 watts, maybe 4,200 watts, somewhere around there. But we're basically, we're maxed. The only way we're gonna get more power, and of course I'd hit that one stupid pothole in the ground, 
is uh, we would have to contact like lithium power or look for a battery manufacturer that we could put in the middle of the frame and, and do that. But I'm good. Like, I'm pretty happy with this setup. I don't think we got to do anything more, but just don't expect to get good range out of it because we're doing a Volger Sag about 64, not 65. So we're only doing like a 14 mile trip back and forth. I'll show you guys when we get to the house where we end up at. But uh, I love the bike, you know, it's super fun. So if you guys want one, discount codes, links and all that in the description along with the headlight. And um, I'll try to remember to put the mirror. If I don't, just drop a comment as well. And uh, stick around with the ride guys of the YouTube channel because we've been taking off. Sometimes we go super low and then sometimes we're like up there. And the next video I'm gonna do is that carbon fiber bike. So if you guys wanna check out a carbon fiber bike, it doesn't look carbon fiber because it's like painted like flat black or something on the outside but uh it's a badass bike 63 pounds for a huge 26 by 5 inch tire like mountain bike it's absolutely insane but we're almost at the house i'll give you all the information really quick and then i will see you guys in the next one and one more thing i want to point out is that the brakes actually work pretty good for this setup i know a lot of people are going to say you want to probably replace your brakes because you got so much more power on the bike and no it runs pretty damn good and stops like better than you would think I don't have a problem with it. Um, so, all right, keep in mind, it's one volt off. So this says 71.8 volts. We just got here, so it's now 71.9. And um, if you guys come down here, you guys aren't gonna be able to see this, but this says, uh, I'm trying to get my head turned around. So it says 29% and it's going up and up. So it's probably gonna jump up to 30 because it was at 28 when I saw it. So now, yeah, now 30%. And um, that's pretty much it. So realistically, maybe, like 20 miles on 4,000 watts of power, which I know is not a lot, but just turn the bike down and get more better range. And if, you know, if you kind of like feather it a little bit or kind of have your torque curve not come in so hot, so you kind of have a gradual start, you'll definitely get more range than you're, you will probably need. But if you want something that gives you like 40, 50 miles with this amount of power on this bike, it's not going to happen unless you get a custom battery that fits on that frame down there. But then again, you kind of make the bike a little heavy, so... Oh, and real quick, as we've been sitting here, um, this has been going up and up as I've been turning off all these lights and we're at now 35%. So I actually think this is gonna go up to about 40%, which makes sense because we were at 41 uh, volts. So I would say this battery is at probably like 40%. It just drains so much from the voltage sag and the way this battery set up is taking a little bit of time to get up there. But I would say like 38, 40% for a 14 mile trip on 4,000 watts.